I'm Julia Tertian. I am a cookbook author and I am the founder of Equity at the Table. And this is Cook With Us with Will and Good. Today, I'm gonna make a carrot cake smoothie, which might sound kind of funny, <laughs> but it's one of my favorite smoothies because I love carrot cake. I have a wonderful recipe for carrot cake in my new book, Simply Julia. And this takes all of the flavors of that cake and puts it right into a really simple smoothie. So it's got carrots and pineapple and all these wonderful spices, ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg and a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it and all of those ingredients appear in the cake and they appear in the smoothie and it is so easy to make and it starts with peeling a carrot which is really simple but one fun tip for that whenever I peel carrots is I just leave the carrot flat on the board and then I peel it so I'm not holding it up and it's going everywhere everything is just like really stable and right like on your work surface so And that's really great when you're peeling more than one carrot today, just one. Um, I'm just gonna cut off the little ends and then get my blender. Make a lot of noise, most importantly. And then I'm just gonna chop the carrot right into the blender. So just like that. And then I'm gonna add about a cup of frozen pineapple, a little less, a little more, it doesn't really matter. It's very easy going. The frozen pineapple is great because it keeps the smoothie really like frosty and cold. And it also means you can just buy frozen pineapple. You don't have to cut up a fresh pineapple and deal with all of that. So it just makes it really, really quick and easy. I'm adding a cup of, this is oat milk. I had it in my fridge, but you can use any milk you want. I'm gonna pour that in. And then like a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Same amount of ground ginger. If you have fresh ginger, definitely add like, you know, maybe like an inch of it, like just chopped up, add that fresh ginger, that'll be great. And then the final spice is some fresh nutmeg. And I get it like the whole nut. And then I just use a microplane grater and grate a little bit. A little bit of nutmeg goes like a super long way. It's a really strong flavor. It's like the flavor that's most associated with like eggnog, like a wintry holiday spice kind of flavor. So just a little bit, and if it's fresh, it's like so fragrant and it keeps really well. Um, but if you just have ground nutmeg, totally fine. And to sweeten it, just like a tiny bit of maple syrup. So I'm not even gonna measure it. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. If you wanted to use like a dried date, you could take the pit out, throw that in to sweeten it. You could leave that out if you have any dietary restrictions in any way. Um, super flexible. So that is everything. And now I'm gonna make a lot of noise. <laughs> so bear with me. We are ready. As you saw, I kind of, once it's like all smooth, I just let it go for a little bit longer. I feel like it kind of just makes the difference between like everything mixed together and then everything like super, super smooth. So just that little extra time and that's it. So it smells, it smells so good. It smells like super fresh and like fruity, kind of pineapple-y but you also smell like all those amazing spices. Um, it's, it's delicious. I'm excited to take a sip. It's so good, it tastes like carrot cake. <laughs> So this is like perfect for breakfast. It makes a great snack, like in the afternoon when you're just like a little bit hungry, whatever. Any time of day, this is great. Kids really love this too. It's a great way to get extra fruits and vegetables into their bodies. And the entire recipe is in the description below. I hope you really enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. <laughs>